I, I mean, I feel so lucky to be in the doing the work that I do because I see impact in so many different ways on so many different people every day. Um, mm-hmm. It's it's really amazing, and people are not shy to reach out after participating in choir uh, to share their experiences. Um, so I feel like we could do a whole interview on that. Um, but one of our favorite stories to share, it's a, a gentleman that sings with us in our aphasia choir. Um, and he was a professional singer throughout his life, a performer, and he has lived quite a life. Um, you know, but then in his 70s, he had a stroke um, and he caught aphasia and his voice changed and he was not able to sing even close to how he was singing before. And that's that's really challenging to your identity right yeah. like if you identified as a singer and then all of a sudden you can't sing the way you used to be able to um it's a really tough thing to to process um and to accept in your life and so he was working in this aphasia program that we started a choir in and we introduced the idea of the choir and he says like no way like I was a professional singer and I don't do that I can't do that anymore um but somehow he got convinced to try the, the jump into the pool, right? Like, you know, just jump in and see what happens. Yeah, come on, and jump in. Jump in. And and he did. And, you know, yada, yada, yada. He had the best time. And he's actually become one of our cheerleaders. And he's the one setting up the next semester of choir. He's named the choir. He's convincing all of his peers to join the choir. He is like, he is the face of the choir now. And so it, it's so special to see somebody reconnect with the joy of singing even though it didn't sound like it used to even though he's not you know at a performance level anymore that he can still tap into that joy of what it is to be human and what it is to participate in music so we yeah we really love that story to share I'm sorry I'm such a cancer I want to cry that is beautiful yeah uh for yeah I I cannot that is that is an amazing impact story. I think it's one of my favorites I've heard so far. Um, <laughs> just seeing someone c- come back from something like a stroke to 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 something that they loved, that they felt like they couldn't do anymore. Um, mm-hmm. I'm probably going to edit this piece out of it, but it's actually like, uh, you can't really tell here, but my thing, uh, when I usually am on my account, I say any pronouns. I'm trans non-binary. Uh-huh. And the reason I didn't go forth with uh, uh, certain uh, treatments for that was because I didn't want my voice to change. It's mm-hmm. one of the few things yeah. I don't have dysphoria with. So I really can resonate with the idea of like, oh, this person is, um, this person feels you know, like their voice is just gone, that they can't really sing or do things the same way mm-hmm. anymore and they have to relearn it and that struggle. Um, that's something I can really understand and resonate with. So uh, mm-hmm. that was such a great story. Ah! I'm glad I resonated. Maybe. Yeah, it really resonated with me. And um I think that that's wonderful to share. And hopefully anyone watching this can take away from that story that, you know, just because something happens and things change, it does not mean that you can't go forth with the things you want to do or the things you love to do, that you can find a way. It might not look the same as it would have previously but it is possible if you want to hear more stories don't forget to subscribe comment and like to support more youth by youth led projects visit us at youthspeak.ca where you can donate and spread youth mental health awareness youth speak charity speak inspire change